Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's TA because Bitcoin currently is uh, having a little uh, dump here. It looks like that maybe we're gonna reach our target here of around $9,100 to $9,000 to hopefully have a bounce here from the main support that is looming down here in this area. We have here in the one hour currently here a push to the downside. We have the RSI and Stochastic oversold and also the Bollinger Band is overshooting it to the downside. Currently also the MACD shifted to the downside and I still think we have a lot of room left to the downside. Of course, don't forget that we closed the CMEs at $9,800 on Friday. So wherever we are dropping this weekend, we have a new future gap up to that level in case that on Monday we're gonna stay in this region down here or even drop further down. I also expect that po uh, potentially the stock market could drop uh, at least on Monday at the beginning of the week and therefore also Bitcoin maybe could continue to follow and also continue to drop. This is what we see, have to see once we open up again the CME charts and also the stock markets on Monday. And that's why I'm still waiting to open a trade. I thought about to open a short position, but as I told you, I prefer to look for a good long entry than short right now, even though I'm expecting a possible crash also because we still have a lot of longs compared to shorts and that's why I still think a potential long squeeze is still in the cards and we could see something similar like we had here from 10,500 down here to $9,100 coming maybe even uh, faster and bigger than this uh, candle especially if you're gonna lose here this $9,100 and therefore we have to go to the four hour time frame because here you can also see that we still have a lot of room left to the downside. I think that maybe today or at least tomorrow we're gonna test here the 200 moving average in the four hour which is at 9,370. We are very close to it. Potentially even drop down here towards $9,090. This is what we have to see during the day and possibly also tomorrow once the CMEs are gonna open again. I probably gonna wait to open a long position, a small long position, maybe tonight or tomorrow, once we're gonna definitely create this new future gap up to that level and possibly also as soon as the stock market is gonna start again. Because it is a bit risky right now, if we're gonna have a big dump, then potentially the CME gap could eventually get filled way, way later than immediately. So it doesn't mean if we're gonna create a new future gap that immediately we go up to fill it. But of course, most of the times it's the case that we're going up again to fill it. So I'm very careful now opening a long position, but potentially if we're gonna touch here and bounce from $9,100, I maybe go uh, along from that level if we see that we're gonna have some support here and we're not dropping below this uh, green trend line down here and uh, if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the four hour here what is interesting to see is that currently we are right at the bottom of the Bollinger Band so we have to see if we're gonna have a bounce back up here or not MACD is looking like that it's gonna be shifted to the downside here after this last couple of four hour candles which brought us down here so I also still think that currently we are shifted to the downside towards the main support and there also we have to see if we're gonna bounce from it or not in case that you look for a short opportunity of course maybe uh, you have to wait here for a breakout to the downside unless of course you already shorted it from here then I would just put a stop loss in profits so even if the price reverts back up here towards $9,800 you should be getting out with the profits and not be underwater with your short and that's why make sure always to put a stop loss when trading with leverage also I'm still waiting here to buy back in with my fiat that I took out a little bit up here in this region because because I want the price to be at around $8,000 to $6,400 in order to put that last fear that I have back all in into Bitcoin. But if we drop here to the downside and we bounce again from $9,000, I might consider to open only a long uh, position because uh, a crash is still in the cards, especially if the stock market starts to plunge. We have to keep an eye also on Bitcoin if it's gonna follow it or not.
and if we go over to the daily time frame here you can see that currently we are bouncing from the 20 daily moving average so this moving average is right now at nine thousand four hundred fifty dollar so far we bounce from it so we could also see a week to the downside here towards the main support possibly but the important thing is that we're gonna revert immediately back up here and close the daily candle above nine thousand four hundred fifty if today we are going lower than that and we're gonna close below then the future gap may be gonna feel way way later than immediately and also then I think we could see a potential breakdown here of course we could also create something like this here here you see that we came below the 20 daily we stayed a couple of days below we tested the support and then immediately bounced back up here I had to run here towards the resistance of ten thousand four hundred fifty dollars so something similar we could also see but that's why I will just open up a small long position here just to be ready to scale it in even down to um, um, around eight thousand dollar the RSI here is at the 50 level stochastic shifted to the downside so here also in theory we have a lot of room left to the downside but of course also to the upside stochastic is like more or less neutral RSI right at the 50 so I would say it's really depending how we're gonna close here the daily candles above or below the 20 daily moving average and also if this support is gonna hold here or not and if we have a look also on the Bollinger Band in the daily here you can see that we came right into the middle area here of $9,400. So in theory, right now we should see a big bounce to the upside, which take us again towards $9,800, even up here to $10,100 here based in the daily time frame of the Bollinger Band. And also the MACD currently is flat, but if we continue to drop here, we most likely gonna be also here shifted to the downside. And uh, here you can see that we would have a lot of room left here to the downside in case that we break down you see that the MACD still have a lot of room left to the downside so this is what we have to see here in case that we drop below 9400 and 9400 is becoming a new resistance then it's almost guaranteed that we will go below 9k again also because here in the Bollinger Band you can see that the bottom is currently at $8,670 so it is very likely that we will go again below 9k in case that right now at around $9,400 we will not see a big bounce and especially if we're gonna lose here this $9,100 support and the first target that I'm gonna watch in case of a breakdown is here the 200 daily moving average which is currently at 8,113 is now back again shifted to the upside so that is of course a very bullish sign that we have now the 200 daily moving average shifted to the upside so let's hope that we can bring it as high as possible so in theory we should not go again way below the 200 daily moving average but uh, at the moment it is still looking very bullish in the bigger and higher time frames even though I think a crash is possible also depending what the stock market is doing and even if you go over here to the weekly time frame as you know here we are very bullish in the weekly time frame we have the 20 and 50 weekly moving average below of us it's currently between 8700 to 8360 dollars the RSI is currently above the 50 so we don't have to go below the 50 in the RSI otherwise we could getting back again in a big big waterfall to the downside but as long as we're staying above the 50 everything is all right the only thing which concerns me still is here the uh, stochastic it is still overbought it would be better if we can cool it off a little bit before we're gonna break here uh, this uh, main uh, resistance so we're gonna have a lot of fuel left here to the upside and the worst case scenario is as i told you all in the last couple of videos is that in case of a big breakdown here the 0.618 fib line at six thousand four hundred dollar also where more or less the 200 moving average in the weekly is lining up here at six thousand dollar would be the worst case scenario that bitcoin could drop down to this level here and there we should see a really big bounce to the upside but currently we're still fine I don't expect the price to go that low at the moment but of course in case that we're gonna crash here to the downside the momentum could be definitely shifted towards this region down here and this could be really the last time that we're gonna see Bitcoin so 
cheap and that's why you should be prepared for all scenarios and also if you want to take advantage of these big dumps and pumps you should have an account ready where you can trade bitcoin and other assets with leverage like bybit for example this is the exchange that i am using and currently if you sign up with my link that you find down below here in the video description you will not get only this normal 90 dollars rewards and sign up bonus that you always get but also if you put in a deposit of at least 0.2 bitcoin in your exchange wallet from today on till the 20th of june you will get an additional 100 dollar bonus but this is really exclusive only if you use my sign up link and my referral code so if you want to take advantage of this you have to do it right now and get this free bonuses that Bybit is giving to you right now and on Bybit you can trade the Bitcoin and other altcoins up to 100x leverage. I recommend you to trade maximum with 10x because leverage trading is very risky but of course with small amounts you can gain a lot of uh, money but you have also the option of course that you can trade uh, also up to 100x if you really want to gamble and use very very small amount of uh, money and if you need multiple accounts also where you can have different trades open at the same time you can also open up an account over on femex primex pt or btr all these exchanges offers leverage trading and with my links you can get some sign up bonuses as well and make sure to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome and we have a very nice community over there so shout out to all the people over on discord you are really great and the best we always have very nice signals and the nice discussions and all also, if you want to join the live streams that I sometimes do when something crazy is going on on the price, then make sure also to join the Twitch channel. It's also for free and everyone is uh, welcome. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Maybe if later I'm going to go long or the price is going to touch the main support area, if we're going to go that low, I'm going to go live over on Twitch or do an update video. So make sure uh, also to subscribe to both channels here on YouTube and also over on Twitch. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and we see us all in the next one. Bye.